All right, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you our digital brain template, basically the framework that we use to build all the systems and processes in our agency from a bird's eye view. It's three dimensional, it's the best thing I've ever built in terms of like systems and processes to be able to understand what the hell is going on. Basically, we could take a homeless guy off the street, we could give him a laptop and a link, and he could run better AMS perfectly and manage probably over $100,000 per month worth of clients by himself with nobody's help and no training whatsoever, just a laptop and a link. Okay, jokes aside, uh, seriously though, this agency framework is gonna really help you streamline your agency and, and, and increase everybody's levels of efficiency, which will increase their productivity, which will increase your profit margin percentage, which is what this framework is all about, and I'm gonna give it to you today for free, no questions asked, and I'll explain to you where you can get this link uh, towards the end of the video. But stay with me for about four to five minutes so that I can explain how you can actually use this thing, because if you just go click the link and, and look at it, you're, not, you're gonna have no idea how to use it. So this is actually applicable to any business, thanks to a uh, good friend, uh, Mina. I forget his last name, but he's, he's actually a seller, uh, has an e-commerce supplements brand and um, he actually used some of this process in his own way. Um, and it's really cool to see that this applies to not just agencies, but also different types of businesses, e-commerce businesses selling physical products. So here's what uh, this, like, here's what our operational framework looks like. So this is our entire agency in literally one bird's eye view from three different dimensions, actually four, okay? So you can see level one, level two, level three, level four. Now, if you're not familiar with WBS, it's called a work breakdown structure. It's the management project management framework, essentially, that this digital brain is built off of, except in its own unique way, if you will. So a great link to learn about WPS, if you wanna learn more about it after this video, watch it, you know, read this after this video, is this by this company, work -a -jig. just Google work -a -jig WPS, and it explains how this works, and there's tons of companies that use this process but the high level we have just okay this is what we want we want client success how do we achieve client success well the first thing this is the level one this is the project okay then we have the phases that we go through in the project and um, so this is okay onboarding the client phase and then we have the ASS one phase which is the account setup stage one phase and then we have the account setup stage two phase so these are the phases that we go through color-coded in orange then we have work packages, okay? So the work packages are essentially just a condensed box that explains the work that we're about to do that is broken out below this level. So this is level three and a Trello and sheet setup. So when we onboard a client, we get them in Trello, we get them in, uh, in our Google Drive, our shared drive folder. And then what we have is level four, which is this is the dimension that everyone gets all tripped up on and they start using Word docs and, and, and uh, Google Sheets, and, and it's like, it's, it's confusing as hell. This is way better, uh, and here's why. It, it, this is the activity that needs to get done to actually you know, uh, accomplish this work package. So this is Taylor, input client info into performance sheet and notify Stephanie, okay? So you can see th these are verbs, these are actions, input, set up, launch, draft. We don't have any of these verbs in the, in, in, in the uh, work packages, and we don't have any verbs in the uh, phases, okay? So this is what most people have. They just have this dimension right here. So, so how do you build this? How do you get to this level of simplicity uh, where, where you can show someone how your entire business works, how you get from A to Z in one page, one screen, you know, send a homeless guy a link and he knows how to run your agency type thing, okay? So each of these, uh, each of these uh, activities, if you click on them, will take you to a video that will explain the process or it'll take you to like a Word doc with more specific details on how to actually accomplish this specific activity. But you can see here, there's not that many activities. We probably have less than 20 activities that we need to do to try to increase someone's sales between 25 to 50 to 100,000 plus dollars per month. So very simple, very difficult to achieve this level of simplicity. How do we do it? Well, it starts off by brain dumping all the chaos that's going on in your mind and then refining it, refining it, refining it, refining it, refining it. And uh, the, the end result is this simplicity. So, in January of 2020, you know, we got back from our annual offsite and from, I think we went on an offsite 2019, October, we realized that, you know, we need to, we need to really get our SOPs and structure in place. Even though it was decent at the time, we need to rebuild it. So what I did is I used this, I didn't actually use this template. I formed this template after I did this process, but it looks very much the same. 
The first thing I did is I went and brain dumped everything that our agency does in this little box here. And it actually took me a lot longer than you think. This took me a couple weeks to do this because I have no idea what's going, in my, going on in the processes of my agency at this time. I had no idea. So I had to interview different people, primarily Destiny, who's, uh, who, who was doing a lot of the strategy and work at the time. And I was interviewing her and saying, okay, what do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do here? Then I was taking all the notes and then she was telling me, you know, I would love to do this. I would love to do that. And you can see I even have stuff like what Destiny wants. And that's because she was telling me different things that we need to do. And so she was giving me the information. I was brain dumping it. And then what happened was this, this became our current agency framework in a brain dumped letters, words, sentences, paragraphs, bullet points format. Okay, very simple, very straightforward. Then what I did is I, I formed our new agency framework. Okay, so I took the old one. I, I, I rebuilt it again in words, uh, words, letters, sentences, paragraphs, bullet points, etc. And uh, also what I did in this process was I put the uh, work packages. So this is level three. Coming back to this framework here, we have level three, which is work packages. And this is the level that I like to start off with when I'm going in to try to build a, you know, an entire digital brain or an agency framework is, okay, let's first define the work packages because defining the phases that you go through, I mean, you can decide that after you get the work packages done. That's very easy. But first you need to get all of this done. You need to get the work packages and the activities broken out. And then you can decide how you want to chop up the phases and then the project it takes you like 10 seconds to, to, to make. So basically I brain dumped it and then once I have it in this text format brain dumped in a decent order and you can see there, 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 there's a good structure to this. I mean it's like okay uh, here we go VA do this 1.1, 1 .1, 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 3 etc. And then what I did is once I had it in words I broke it out into a flowchart format and then once I had the flowchart format for each of these boxes here, then what I did is I was like, okay, let's combine all of this together down here. And this is kind of what it looked like. And then once that's in a decent structure, then what I did is I, I, I super simplified it into one page. And this is basically the PPC summary, if you will. So very, very uh, easy to say, difficult to do, and it's very time consuming to do. But this is the framework. So what you can do and how you can use this is you can first come in and list out the work packages, okay? So again, there's no verbs in the work package. A work package is basically like, is basically like Trello and Sheets set up, Nexus campaigns, auto campaigns, etc. So those are work packages. And um, again, there's no verbs. You, you can't read a work package and be like, this is what needs to get done. It's like a summary of a bunch of activities. So you'll know what that is. If, if it's, if it's uh, you know, finding a new product that you want to sell, maybe that's like a product discovery uh, process. You want to call it product discovery. I don't know. Um, and, and then there's a bunch of work or activities in that work package. So define the work package and then brain dump the process for this work package here. So what's the first thing you do? What's the second thing, the third thing, the fourth thing, the fifth thing? What I like to do is I like to do something like this where it's like, okay, uh, the, the, the first thing, blah, blah, blah. And then maybe there's, there's things within that first thing. So I would do like 1.1 and then blah, blah, blah. And then there's maybe another thing within that first thing and I would do it uh, 1.2, etc. And so you can even go even further if you need to, you can go break it down to 1.2.1 and you can have this beautiful structure in what would be considered a Word doc SOP format. But then what we're going to do is add in some notes on what you want to change in this current process. So this is beautiful because it's like, okay, how can you improve this? If there's room to improve it, if it's worth it for you to improve that, you can brain dump your thoughts in this little box. And once you're done that, then you want to condense this uh, brain dump into a work breakdown structure, which is talked about here in this blog post. I won't dive into it super in depth. Essentially, it just explains this in a more logical project management world uh, form. And it's, it's actually helpful to read. So I recommend uh, checking it out after this video. But, but once you've done this process and you've gone through it and you feel like you've dumped your entire business or agency framework here, then if you, you know, six months later want to completely revolutionize your agency framework, it's going to be really easy for you to like look at the current and then rebuild the new. Uh, it's, so it's beautiful. You'll have it here. But once you have the current, assuming you're not making any major changes like I did when I was rebuilding mine, you can see this is what I did. I, I, draw, I brain dumped the current and then I put in the new 
and and that's kind of that was a huge two to three month process. But um, then once you've got that done here, at least in the current, assuming you're going to keep this, you want to put this into this three dimensional format or four dimensional, where you have the project, the phases, the work packages, and the activities. Now this is WBS. Okay, don't get me wrong. I didn't just like magically create this some somehow. I, I actually did like randomly create it and think of it, but then researched further into it and realized that, oh, this is actually just a standard project management process. So I actually kind of just created it and then realized that, whoa, this actually already exists. So clearly it was in my consciousness through universal mind uh, of, of some sort. But anyways, you doing this is very simple and very straightforward. In Lucidchart, this is the software we use to create this stuff. It's cool because you can add in like, if this is an automated process, you can have, uh, or if this is a service, or it's, if it's a manual process, you can have a hand. If it's a service, which would be considered like an automated, you can have this, this button um, and, and you can kind of see what uh, activities are automated versus manual. And then you can go in and automate ones that are manual or you can remove ones that if they're not necessary, etc. So that is how you use this template. Now, where you can find this template is, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this YouTube video. That was probably pretty obvious that you knew that was coming, but it's gonna be there. Uh, and you can just download it. There's no email opt-in. I'm literally just giving you the link for free so you can plug it in. You're gonna to have to use Lucidchart, of course, or if you wanna recreate it in whatever you know chart format, the software that you have, uh, great, do that. But, but be my guest, this is what I believe to be the best process for building out SOPs that I found. But what's important is also, I forgot to mention this, each of these activities should have a video linked to it. So uh, you can basically uh, add an action and then you can add a link in here. And then what happens is, is when people click on that, for new people that you hire, you know, if they wanna figure out, oh, I forgot how to do this, then they can click on that and they can understand how to uh, do that actual activity. So everything is in here. And now here's what's so beautiful about this, okay? This is the final thing, and I'm repeating myself because I made this in a previous video, but once a quarter, you get to do a SWOT analysis not the actual SWOT analysis that most people consider like the business SWOT analysis, but you can basically review this process once a quarter and it's so easy to identify the bottlenecks in your operations because you've actually laid it out into this beautiful four dimensional framework, this 4D framework that's so much better than a freaking Word doc, okay? Because you can easily see everything in one page. So with that being said, uh, don't underestimate the power of this framework. I, I dare you to try and like analyze all your systems and processes when you have like 30 different Word docs, each SOP in each Word doc in four different folders in your Google Drive. It's a freaking nightmare, it's a mess, you want to avoid it. And to have it all in one page is invaluable, especially when you go on a quarterly offsite with your team and your leadership team or whatever, or just an end of year retreat with your entire team. And you can just look at this thing and be like, what sucks? You know, wh where's the bottleneck? Where do you guys feel the most pain in our process? What can we automate? What can we delegate? What can we eliminate this classic EAD framework, eliminate, automate, delegate? Um, what can we do? And if you don't have this sheet, if you don't have this four dimensional framework on one page, you can't do that. All right? You can, but it's just so freaking, it's so difficult, it's so hard, it's almost impossible. So, Hit that subscribe button if you found value in this video. I'm trying to post two to three videos a week. I'm really step, stepping up my game on content. We'll see how long that lasts. But uh, if you enjoyed this, if you found value, download the template. More importantly, first hit that subscribe button, then hit, leave me your, your, your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If you think I can improve this, let me know. If you have some epic legendary blog post that's gonna revolutionize my mind on like how to actually systematize and automate things and, and understand the intricacies of the business from a one page high level bird's eye view on one screen that's better than this, send it to me, all right? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys next week, ciao.